You know, guys, that is often the case with scams like this. So this woman thought her bank account was hacked and that someone used her money to buy pornography. If she didn't act fast, she feared she'd lose everything in her bank account. I was just in such a panic mode that, you know, I just was willing to just do what he said. Trying to act You'll fast, be Raleigh be resident enough. Noelle Griffin had yeah, no idea she was caught up in a scam. In a These people use scare tactics. It, this was like a very complex <sighs> scamming, hacking. This started when she was searching online for a job and this pop up appeared from Microsoft, who I thought was Microsoft, saying that my IP address had been hacked. It states her PC was blocked for security reasons. She called the number on the pop up. He gave me a Microsoft ID number. She proceeded to tell me that there were four hackers trying to hack my that had hacked my devices, that they had already hacked me, my laptop and my cell phone. And it got worse from there. He said that there was a charge trying to get put through through my online banking for $3,000 to purchase pornography. Noel wanted to stop the fraud. He directed me to go to the bank to withdraw the funds because they could not stop the charge from going through. Okay. This scammer convinced Noel to take the entire three grand out of her bank account and then buy all of these gift cards with the money. The only way for them to put it back in my account was through information on the back of the gift card through like a code. She then read all the numbers on the back of the gift cards, giving the scammers access to the three grand in gift cards. Obviously, there were red flags at that point, but I was willing to do anything to what I thought to keep that money because that's all the money I have. Eventually, Noelle learned this was all a scam. All of her savings drained. This is probably going to cause me to lose my apartment. You know, I could very well be evicted. Such a tough situation. Now, this scam continues to trick people as a pop-up in reality. They have nothing to do with Microsoft. Instead, the pop-up can appear when you go to a website that's not secure and scammers impersonate a well-known company like Microsoft to make it believable. In reality, her computer was not hacked. Neither was her bank account. And, you know, other big red flags we always try and tell people about. Gift cards. Mm -hmm. The minute someone mm -hmm. asks you to buy gift cards, scratch yeah. them off and pay that way. 100%, I can tell you this, it's a scam, 100%. Yeah. And, and nothing is ever that urgent. Take, yeah. take a few minutes, take a breath, call and double check to see what's really happening. Yeah. They had her on the phone for an hour and a half the whole entire time telling mm. her what to do. So yeah. definitely, like you said, great advice, take a breath. Yeah, really unfortunate. Diane, Diane thank, thank you. you.